Hey Aquarius, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your July 2020 love reading. Now, I want to start off by saying that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you because not every single Aquarius is going through the same exact thing. So, if you find that this reading does not resonate, then it will be in your best interest to book a private reading with me. All the information to do that is going to be in the description below. And let's get started. So, Let's start off by asking in spirit, what is the overall energy for Aquarius? All right. So your overall energy is the Knight of Cups. So I feel like a lot of you are feeling very romantic this month there is definitely someone that you're really into okay i feel like you may even be thinking of ways to like seduce them and romance them um you know this could be like what you're gonna say to them to win them over this could be you know <sighs> i'm so sorry guys i'm tired um this could just be like you just, you know, thinking of different ways to win them over. You know, you're really, really feeling like extremely romantic when it comes to this person. Okay, we have justice here. I feel like you want things to be fair between you and this person. You want more balance between you and this person. Um, yeah, you could be feeling like, you know, this is a connection that's very fair, that's very balanced. You could feel like you get what you need out of it. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working super hard on this connection. Like, whoever this person is, like, you're, you're like, putting in so much effort. You're, like, you know, you could be literally, like, planning different ways to just make them happy. Like, whoever this person is, like, I really, really feel like you're really, really into them. Okay, the Queen of Swords. It's interesting because... Even though your heart is really into this, you are looking at it logically. You are being very logical about it. I feel like you may have had some bad experiences in the past and you don't want to go through that again. So you're cutting through the BS. So maybe like in the past, you didn't put in a lot of effort when it came to the person that you were involved with. So maybe you don't want to make that same mistake. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is like, yeah, like I feel like. You're very stable. You feel stable being with this person. You can feel like you're a better person because of them. Um, but I feel like that's what it is. You're really putting in a lot of effort because maybe in the past you didn't always do that. But this person has shown you or you feel that it's wise for you to put in more effort. The magician. Okay. You guys are definitely trying to manifest with this person. I feel like this could be... A connection that's deeper than just romance. I feel like you guys may actually be trying to work together, trying to make money together, especially with the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Magician being here. Maybe you really like this person too because you feel like you could build, like, you know, like an empire with them, which is the best thing in the world. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so tired. Um, just doing so many readings every single day. Yeah, so I feel like you not only find this person to be really intriguing romantically, but I think that you also like the idea of the fact that this person is very resourceful. This person is into manifesting. This person wants more out of life. And I feel like you guys are working together to make that happen. All right, so let's see how this person's feeling about you. So how's this person feeling about the Aquarius? The Queen of Swords. So it's like you guys are marrying each other. You're the Queen of Swords. I said the Queen of Swords. The King of Swords. You're the Queen of Swords. They're matching you with the King of Swords. So this is a person who is very logical. This is someone who makes head over heart decisions. Even though uh, Queen of Swords is 
uh, king of swords is not necessarily a boss. As I'm looking at this person, this person just gives me boss vibes. So, like I said, I feel like you two may be going together and like working together in some type of financial uh, thing. Does that make sense? Okay. You have temperance here. So this person is all about balance. Um, this person could feel like you both are very different. You could come from two different worlds, two different backgrounds. But this person seems like they're willing to compromise with you, okay? Ooh, they had the six of wands reverse. Okay, why is that here? Now, I don't really read reversals like that, but it came out reverse. So why did it come out reverse? It, meant, it was meant to come out that way. Why is the six of wands here reversed? Hmm. It could, okay, I feel like you want to show off the relationship to the world, but this person doesn't. Um, I feel like this person is the type of person, they like to play it cool. So maybe you feel like they don't care. And this person is like, no, I do care, but I don't like people in my business. And I'm not going to be like all mushy gushy with you because that's just not me. Like I'm a person that just keeps like how I feel to myself. Okay. I feel like this person doesn't, like I said, I don't, I don't think this person likes people in their business. Um, but there, I also, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like there's something about the relationship, the connection that you two have that they're not proud of. I want to see what that is. It's something about it that they don't they don't feel like they should show it off to the world. And the four ones came out reversed. Like I said, I don't read reversals, but so the four ones, I feel like, hmm. Why is the four ones reversed? Ten of Swords. The lovers. I'll be real with you. Maybe this person doesn't want to show off this relationship to the world because maybe they have another person. Um and they have two they have the both of you to pick from. Maybe this person is like, I can't create a home with Aquarius because I have this other person here and I'm confused about who I want. I feel like this person knows that this is a betrayal to you. So maybe this person is trying to keep this a secret. So it would make sense why you would be trying really hard and putting in a lot of effort because maybe you're feeling like that's going to win them over. But in all honesty, I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, so please tell me um, more about how this person feels about the Aquarius. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the cards. I didn't even realize it was out of focus. Okay, that card flew right out. Five of Wands. Wow. That's about conflict, fighting. This person is very conflicted. They don't know what to do. I think that's the reason why they're not honest with you. That's why they play it cool, okay? What else are they feeling towards their Aquarius? It could have also been that maybe when you guys had some type of conflict that this person went and got another person and now they don't know how to let that person go. That's another thing I'm picking up on. The Nine of Pentacles. I feel like, I'm going to be real with you. I feel like this person feels like they don't want to pick. They don't know who to pick. So they may be feeling like, you know what? Instead of picking between two people, I'll probably be better off being by myself and doing my own thing. And, you know, maybe this person is, even with that Nine of Pentacles there, that person could be saying, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't go into business with Aquarius because there's feelings and emotions here. This might be a bad idea. And they could be considering doing their own thing. Five of Cups is about disappointment. I feel like this person is disappointed that they have to make this decision. But, you know, that's that's 
what it is. Um, I feel like there's going to be like a verbal back and forth with you guys. This person will be expressing this to you. But it's interesting how this reading just turned left. Like it just went negative. And I always try to make the reading positive. I always come with hopes that it will be positive, but it did not go that way. So, you know, Aquarius, um, I want to thank you guys for watching this uh, reading. If you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and share it with someone else. And I'll talk to you soon.